So let's do this one now. Uh, which, uh, or name another ion that these ions are isoelectronic with. So remember, isoelectronic, same electron configuration as. So ion is a charged atom, so it's not the noble gas, because remember, that's not charged. It doesn't gain or lose electrons. So it's going to be something on the same period, uh, or that goes to the same noble gas configuration, but um, it's still an ion. So in the case of Mg2, right, it's, well, for me, I guess I would write um, its nearest neighbor, which is Na+. Plus. But there's other ones uh, you could write. In fact, um, F- minus is actually isoelectronic with it, too. Um, but if I were if I were to write it, I'd probably do its nearest neighbor, which is O2 minus. And in fact, all three are all four of these are isoelectronic with each other. Why? Because they're all um, trying to attain the neon electron configuration. So um, F minus needs to gain one electron, or F needs to gain one electron to become F minus. Right? O needs to gain two electrons to become O2 minus and get the neon configuration. Sodium needs to lose its one electron to get that plus and attain the neon configuration. And magnesium, right, needs to lose two electrons to attain the neon configuration plus two. I mean, there's others, in fact. Uh, you could do um, N3 minus. You could do um, Al3 plus. We'll stop there. Okay, so they all go to the neon configuration when they either lose or gain their particular um, electrons. Okay, so they're all, these are all isoelectronic with each other. So all of these ions, these three and these three, all six of them are isoelectronic with each other because they're isoelectronic with neon. Okay, so hopefully that answers that question in a little more detail than I was expecting.